this is Robert Thurman in Woodstock, New York. And uh, we are here to mourn the dead and to deplore the tragedy of the earthquake in Kathmandu of April 25th, along with subsequent aftershocks. From the latest information I have seen, at least uh, 4,500 have been killed and over 60,000 are injured. And there's many areas that have not even reported because the, the infrastructure is so totally shattered. Luckily, a lot of good age and uh, people, emergency helpers have landed, Médecins Sans Frontières, uh, different governments, but it's truly a great disaster, I mean, really enormous. So what do we do in times like this? Well, from the Buddhist point of view, we think about those who died first, who lost their human lives, and we think about how they can move into a better life and what guidance they could do. Of course, we are ordinary people, and from Buddhist point of view, uh, celestial bodhisattvas like Tara, Avalokiteshvara, Vajrapani, Manjushri, etc., are able to help people much more than we can, we can. But it is good if we think of that and think of, think of them doing that, recite the mantras of those, of those angelic forces if we can, if we know them, like Om Mani Padme Hum of Avalokiteshvara, Om Mani Padme Hum, Om Tari Tu Tari Turi Swaha of Tara, Om Vajrapani Hum Pe of Vajrapani, Om Arabhajana D of Manjushri. And um, we think of repeating the mantra sort of, you can do it like a meditation as if you were urging on those angelic beings. They may not need any urging. They have much more strength and power than we do, although they're not omnipotent or they <laughs> could have prevented the disaster, of course. But uh, they are very powerful, and so we do that. Second things we can do is we can uh, visualize uh, the rebuilding of the country and the monuments, this time with building codes. Perhaps this will cause the squabbling factions in the Kathmandu government and politics to get together and try to make a working government and uh, prevent the interference of the Chinese from one side, perhaps, and Indians from another side. Perhaps the Nepalese will decide that the Tibetan citizens of Nepal, who have been there a long time, or even the stateless refugees there, should get better treatment than they have been getting, as instigated by the Chinese in recent years. And in general, perhaps turn over a new leaf for all of the different uh, people having difficulties in Nepal. It is a beautiful country, people love it. This will be disastrous to its tourist industry for years to come. And uh, the country will really have to go into receivership, you could say, from this terrible disaster. Main thing is for people not to lose hope and become despaired in Nepal and to try to rebuild their lives but this, and try to do things better. If the building, um, I read an article by Mikkel Dunham, which I recommend to everyone on the uh, web. He has a blog, M-I-K-E-L-D-U-N-H-A-M. And he was in the crowded sort of tourist area, Tamil, of Kathmandu when it happened, and barely escaped having buildings fall down on his head because of the poor quality of the construction everybody rushing to make money, no building codes, no control, and no, no sound methods of building created such a terrible, terrible result for many people. Of course, the poverty is part of the problem of bad building, but the government really should step in and uh, should have stepped in and done something about it. And definitely now in the rebuilding, because of the danger of the next quake, which could happen, um, in that very soft soil was once a lake bed, uh, the Kathmandu Valley. And they say it's a, many parts of it might sink after this. The scientists are saying it's quite dangerous. 
So there should be very great care in the rebuilding. And as far as the rebuilding of the classical architecture of the monuments of Hinduism and Buddhism that are there, uh, it's, a, it's going to be quite a slow process, quite painful, for, would require a lot of international help, which I hope the people get. And that, of course, is the heart of the Nepal tourism. And um, that's a part, very important part of their economy for the future. So, okay, thank you. That's what I have to say. So let's close with a prayer for the people who died. Think of the Book of the Dead or the Tibetan Book of Natural Liberation. Think of whatever angels you believe in from whatever your religion and send them to help the people. Kind of moment of silence, which is just a secular. <laughs>